and welcome to weekly World Climate Change News. This is Han Zhang. On the first day of COP27, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres delivered a compromising speech about the consequences of failure to act on climate crisis. He urgently warned about the necessity of acting rapidly to avoid the worst impact of the climate crisis. One major point of contention at COP27 is the need to limit temperature rise in spite of global issues. Another is the divide between wealthier nations and poor countries. Guterres urged all nations to come together and form a climate solidarity pact, in which the U.S. and China should take the lead in promoting. The U.S. is set to unveil a plan at COP27 for private companies to fund the renewable energy transition in exchange for carbon credits. The plan first reported by the Financial Times on Sunday would see either regional or national governments amass carbon credits by shutting down fossil fuel infrastructure, like coal-fired plants, and replacing it with renewable energy. Private companies could then purchase these credits to offset their greenhouse gas emissions. The purpose of the plan is to provide an incentive for private companies to help fund the renewable energy transition in poor countries. Fossil fuel companies will not be allowed it to participate. The World Meteorological Organization has put forward a plan to develop a global early warning system for extreme weather events intensified by climate crisis. The initial investment for delivering early warning systems for all by 2027 will be nearly $3.1 billion. These initial investments will be required in four pillars of the early warning system, disaster risk knowledge, observations and forecasting, preparedness and response, and communication of early warnings. Early warnings save lives and provide vast economic benefits. Just 24 hours notice of an impending hazardous events can cut ensuing damage by 30%, said Secretary General of WMO. According to the World Health Organization, while the climate crisis has continued to jeopardize global health, global health should be on the forefront of the climate crisis negotiations. The main goal of the COP27 conference is to conclude with the four key elements to fight the climate crisis. Those being mitigation, adaption, financing, and collaboration. The WHO believes that health should not be neglected during the negotiations. Since the climate crisis has made the global population more vulnerable to many diseases, hence negotiations taking place should consider climate policies that promote health benefits alongside serving climate action plans. A new edition of ecological monographs, scientists warn that climate change is endangering insects. Because many insects are unable to control their own body temperature, they are more sensitive to external changes. Pollinators, such as bees, are crucial to the world's food supply. And many other species play important roles in ecosystems across the world. Furthermore, climate change may increase the prevalence of some insects such as mosquitoes and crop-eating pests. According to the estimations, if the Earth warms by 3.2 degrees Celsius, half of all insect species would become extinct. 
only approximately 6% of the insects will be harmed if the temperature is confined to 1.5 degree. As the world's population approaches 10 billion and climate change threatens food security, nutritious algae might be come to the rescue. They include a lot of protein, fiber, minerals, and vitamins. Many entrepreneurs thought of the world's recognized advantage of working with algae. They serve algae-based meals and desserts. It is now a thriving sector with the potential to help feed the world's expanding population. Furthermore, algae farming is environmentally begin because algae takes up less area than land-based crops and has no impact on terrestrial ecosystems. According to the journal Environmental Research Letters, Europe's weather patterns are shifting, with more lightning occurring at a high elevations and less lightning occurring on lower terrain. Experts also noted the need to reevaluate the risk of lightning to human life, property, and welfare. The potential impacts of these changing lightning patterns on important infrastructure systems in the energy and other industries must be investigated further. In addition to facilitating the development of new adaption-related policies and practices. Music